The KSAT is a service provider, so we are looking after satellites. We provide the link between the satellite and the ground in the most efficient way. KSAT is the only company that operates a global net of ground stations. So from uh, the Arctic to Antarctica, we can uh, provide uh, very, very efficient satellite communication. KSAT is sometimes uh, referred to as the backbone uh, of the space industry because if you don't have an efficient ground network, your satellite is basically worthless. It can measure a lot of stuff, but if you can't download it, uh, you can't use it. If you can't control it, uh, you can't use it. So being able to control a satellite very efficiently is a backbone of the space industry. KSAT is also a leading provider of Earth observation services where we use satellite-based information for environmental monitoring, uh, deforestation, illegal fishery and uh, also for environmental uh, research. What's really cool about the full value chain offering is the combination of our various service offerings uh, towards the customer and to provide the customer and the satellite owners with a unique end-to-end -end service where they can focus on their core business, whereas we manage anything from ground network to satellite operation, mission planning, and even processing platforms. So we want to reduce complexity of operations and enable our customers to focus on their core business. KSAT has for decades provided actionable information to very operational customers. The latency requirements are really important to these operational customers. It's all about latency, frequency and proficiency. The latency requirements to our customers are uh, increasing every year. The idea behind our network of ground stations has always been to meet this demand, get the data down to earth as soon as possible, in particular for critical areas. The space industry is a growing industry and um, it's room for uh, integrated services. So what KSAT is currently doing is to optimize the time from a satellite is tasked to as the data is received at the customer's location. And that has a great potential because it becomes, it makes data more actionable and it means that it can be used for active uh, environmental monitoring, for example. So 10 years ago, we invested into our KSAT light services. And this was in order to meet new demands for the small sat market or the new space market for smaller satellites, providing cost benefit solutions for this new market. Now we are investing into bigger antennas in order to meet the demand for the lunar market. In addition, we are investing into ground station in the sky and ground station on a satellite in order to meet the latency requirements. When it comes to market trends nowadays, you see that there are still more Earth observation constellations that are being launched and re-entry type companies as well, that they will launch a satellite and they want to be able to reuse that as well, the same way that uh, launch providers do where they're actually recovering their booster and refurbishing them and launching them again. We're starting to see uh, that coming up as well now. And we're also seeing that some of the constellations that have been around for a few years now are also starting to be come decommissioned for their spacecraft that have been older, but they're replacing those spacecraft as well. So there is information that they are gathering that they require from their end customers that they need to continue expanding on their fleet and we're seeing more of that. We also are offering satellite operation services which is something that typically you see from spacecraft manufacturers that they build the bus, provide it to the customers and then they also drive it for them and now we're playing a critical role to enable that capability for our customers as well so that they can focus on their mission instead of having to focus on also driving their spacecraft and just getting that data through our network and deliver it to them. So that's part of the value chain that we have to offer as well within KSAT. We are always focusing on expanding our services. Now we are in particular focusing on how to expand our integrated services. We recently expanded our partnership with the Amazon Web Services, AWS. This has given us an even bigger network of ground stations, uh, since we have already integrated 
this network into our commercial service portfolio. We are very proud of this service offering and we are very proud of being able to deliver this service both to our customer but also as to the society as a whole. Whether it's improving weather forecasting, if it's greenhouse gas monitoring or monitoring of illegal fishermen, all of this provides value both at a global scale as well as on a local scale. KSAT has, uh, for the last 20 years, established its position on Earth as the leading service provider. And uh, right now we're taking the next step. So we're going to go moon and beyond. So as we speak, KSAT is building the first commercial network of ground stations to serve spacecraft going to the moon and beyond. Mm -hmm.